Hi Virgo, it's Leslie with your August forecast. Well, it's your birthday month, um, end of August. I know we're in September, but the end of August to almost toward the end of uh, September. So it's time for you this month, and I mean this is this is your horoscope reading forecast for this month. It's time for you to step into the spotlight and shine, Virgo. Even if you initially feel shy about it, don't be shy about it. Please take it. Take it. The sun is urging you to accept the credit that is so richly due you, and it really is. You do so many kind things for people. Um, you do so many random acts of kindness. You spend time with people, helping them. You know, and, and I don't think you get appreciated very much at all. Um, don't hesitate to, to let people reveal to you how much they appreciate you. Please don't. And don't hesitate to say thank you. Thank you. Not, I don't need it. You don't need to say that. Don't, don't say that. You need to just say thank you because it hurts people's feelings, kind of, if you say you don't need to say that. I mean, it does hurt. I, we all started out saying that, but that's, we have to develop into thank you for compliments, okay? And Virgo, I know, I know, I know a lot of Virgo, so I know what I'm saying to you. Please accept, accept the thanks. Accept that. Don't hesitate to call on someone you provided assistance to in the past. If you need something, don't hesitate to call and say, hey, uh, Sally, would you, will you um, help me do this? Would you give me a hand with this? Or I need to get somebody's phone number. I need to do something. Um, because they'll be glad to help you. They'll really want to help you. You're not bothering them. Do what you can to promote congeniality, romance, or progress. And that's within yourself. That's um, romance or progress. And this month, I think you're very sensitive this month, um, Virgo. Very, very sensitive. So be careful that um, don't don't take things too much at heart right away that someone is saying is insulting you or they're not giving you the right respect. Uh, find out all the all the facts. And we have that's been a couple of people this month, a couple a couple of signs this month. Um, don't focus on small gripes. You know, just let it go. Just let things go. Events are mixed on the twelfth. The seventh through the twelfth, actually. Um, a turning point in relationships might be reached involving living arrangements or a commitment. Developments in your love life or connections with others are noteworthy. Um, and that's really true. That's really true. This is a big month for you, a big birthday month, and it's a big month to make some good changes to accept who you are and the good person you are and helping people. Um, don't be afraid to get out there because people want to see you. They really, they really like you. Very well liked. Um, and don't, you know, don't like I said. I can. I just feel you're taking things mm, very, very much. Uh, we all do it. I do it myself. Sometimes you take things so seriously when it's just said as a as a passing comment. So think about it. Make all the take all the facts that you need before you do that. Um, your best days are the 3rd, the 9th, and the 19th. And let's see what the cards have in store for you. Oh, there you are. Oh, there you are. Here we are. In your environment, position, and temperance. Well, first thing I'm going to tell you is this month is really a month for relationship um, and re reaching either living arrangements, there's been some real conversations and you haven't settled it, uh, or um, a commitment or development coming with a relationship. And this doesn't have to be a love relationship, although I think that it is, I feel it is. Um, this has to, this can be with friends, it can be with family, it can be with, in business, it could be in your job. But I really feel it, m most of the time, it will be in a relationship. And You've decided what you want, what you want to do, Virgo. Um, and you're going to do it. Um, just give a little leeway here. Again, don't be quite so sensitive um, and don't be stubborn because you have a tendency you could be stubborn because this is wonderful. These are wonderful cards. I mean, wonderful. Um, you're, um, the lovers in your opposition tells me that... Um, it isn't quite, if you have a relationship, it isn't quite the way you want it to be. And if you don't, you'd like to have a relationship in your life. But if it's not the way you want it to be, you're really really thinking about whether you want total romance or or, um, or you'd like to make progress in a relationship 
where it's a real partnership, a real relationship. That means partnership, physical love, um, in, in mental capacity, emotional capacities, and loving each other. And not just not just the physical part of a relationship. Here you are meeting with someone from the past or someone new. Just love to talk to them. You can talk, talk, talk. You could talk all night. You finish each other's sentences. Um, and if it's somebody new, you, it's like you've known them all your life. And if it's somebody old, you're just um, reconnecting or just getting together again. Or or a relationship is heating up to where it's really working well for you because I see a commitment coming and a conversation about it, or someone moving in together. Here we are. You have three very good friends, very, very good friends. Things will work out for you. You have one friend, two very, very good friends, one actually a best friend, a very best friend forever, and you really have that. You really do. Um, Knight of Cups here is telling me that you have someone who really cares about you. This is symbolic. It can be a man or a woman. Let them love you. Accept their love if you like them. If you love them, if you like them, if you want to further this. Um, because they're the best person for you. Very good person. You also are, are working with someone um, on something of great value. And I, I think it's property. I think you're working on buying some property together with someone or investing in something uh, or moving. Uh, it's good. It's very good for you. And here we are, temperance. Temperance, you're you're, you're able to really um, negotiate. Negotiate, I would say, is good is a good word because you're. This is oil and water. I feel this is oil and water, and you're able to balance them. So, good month for you. Very good. Sue's gonna pick your angel card, which says, preserve with your your quest for love. Very nice. Goes with this very very much. If you'd like a more in-depth reading, especially since it's a love month for you, please give us a call at this number. We have special rates for new people. If you'd like our newsletter, monthly newsletter, please go to, um, to um, Leslie So Accurate, your, your Spinal Tango, and there's a, a form on there. You can just fill out and put your email address. It will come to your email. Have a great month and happy birthday. Bye-bye.